In biochemistry, dialysis is the process of separating molecules in solution by the difference in their rates of diffusion through a semipermeable membrane, such as dialysis tubing. Dialysis is a common laboratory technique that operates on the same principle as medical dialysis. In the context of life science research, the most common application of dialysis is for the removal of unwanted small molecules such as salts, reducing agents, or dyes from larger macromolecules such as proteins, DNA, or polysaccharides. Dialysis is also commonly used for buffer exchange and drug binding studies. Topic: <laughs> Principles of dialysis. Diffusion is the random, thermal movement of molecules in solution Brownian motion that leads to the net movement of molecules from an area of higher concentration to a lower concentration until equilibrium is reached. In dialysis, a sample and a buffer solution called the dialysate are separated by a semi-permeable membrane that causes differential diffusion patterns, thereby permitting the separation of molecules in both the sample and dialysate. Due to the poor size of the membrane, large molecules in the sample cannot pass through the membrane, thereby restricting their diffusion from the sample chamber. By contrast, small molecules will freely diffuse across the membrane and obtain equilibrium across the entire solution volume, thereby changing the overall concentration of these molecules in the sample and dialysate see dialysis figure at right. Once equilibrium is reached, the final concentration of molecules is dependent on the volumes of the solutions involved, and if the equilibrated dialysate is replaced or exchanged with fresh dialysate see procedure below, diffusion will further reduce the concentration of the small molecules in the sample. Dialysis can be used to either introduce or remove small molecules from a sample, because small molecules move freely across the membrane in both directions. This makes dialysis a useful technique for a variety of applications. See dialysis tubing for additional information on the history, properties, and manufacturing of semi-permeable membranes used for dialysis. Summary: Dialysis is the process used to change the matrix of molecules in a sample by differentiating molecules by the classification of size. Dialysis occurs when a sample is contained in a cellulose bag and is put into a dialysate solution. When equilibrium is achieved between the sample and dialysate, only small molecules can exit the cellulose membrane, leaving only the larger particles behind. Dialysis can be used to remove salts. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Dialysis procedure. Topic. Equipment Separating molecules in a solution by dialysis is a straightforward process. Other than the sample and dialysate buffer, all that is typically needed is dialysis membrane in an appropriate format e.g., tubing, cassette, etc. and molecular weight cutoff a container to hold the dialysate buffer the ability to stir the solutions and control the temperature. Topic: General protocol. A typical dialysis procedure for protein samples is as follows: Prepare the membrane according to instructions. Load the sample into dialysis tubing, cassette or device. Place sample into an external chamber of dialysis buffer with gentle stirring of the buffer. Dialyze for 2 hours at room temperature or 4 degrees Celsius. Change the dialysis buffer and dialyze for another 2 hours. Change the dialysis buffer and dialyze for 2 hours or overnight the total volume of sample and dialysate determine the final equilibrium concentration of the small molecules on both sides of the membrane. By using the appropriate volume of dialysate and multiple exchanges of the buffer, the concentration of small contaminants within the sample can be decreased to acceptable or negligible levels. 
For example, when dialyzing 1 ml of sample against 200 ml of dialysate, the concentration of unwanted dialyzable substances will be decreased 200-fold when equilibrium is attained. Following two additional buffer changes of 200 ml each, the contaminant level in the sample will be reduced by a factor of 8 by 106 200 by 200 by 200. Topic. Variables and protocol optimization Although dialyzing a sample is relatively simple, a universal dialysis procedure for all applications cannot be provided due to the following variables. The sample volume The size of the molecules being separated The membrane used the geometry of the membrane, which affects the diffusion distance. Additionally, the dialysis endpoint is somewhat subjective and application specific. Therefore, the general procedure might require optimization. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dialysis membranes and MWCO. Dialysis membranes are produced and characterized according to molecular weight cutoff MWCO limits. While membranes with MWCOs ranging from 1 minus 1 million kDa are commercially available, membranes with MWCOs near 10 kDa are most commonly used. The MWCO of a membrane is the result of the number and average size of the pores created during production of the dialysis membrane. The MWCO typically refers to the smallest average molecular mass of a standard molecule that will not effectively diffuse across the membrane during extended dialysis. Thus, a dialysis membrane with a 10K MWCO will generally retain greater than 90% of a protein having a molecular mass of at least 10 kDa. It is important to note that the MWCO of a membrane is not a sharply defined value. Molecules with mass near the MWCO limit of the membrane will diffuse across the membrane more slowly than molecules significantly smaller than the MWCO. In order for a molecule to rapidly diffuse across a membrane, it typically needs to be at least 20 to 50 times smaller than the MWCO rating of a membrane. Therefore, it is not practical to separate a 30 kDa protein from a 10 kDa protein using dialysis across a 20 k rated dialysis membrane. Dialysis membranes for laboratory use are typically made of a film of regenerated cellulose or cellulose esters. See reference for a review of cellulose membranes and manufacturing. Topic. Laboratory dialysis formats Dialysis is generally performed in clipped bags of dialysis tubing or in a variety of formatted dialyzers. The choice of the dialysis setup used is largely dependent on the size of the sample and the preference of the user. Dialysis tubing is the oldest and generally the least expensive format used for dialysis in the lab. Tubing is cut and sealed with a clip at one end, then filled and sealed with a clip on the other end. Tubing provides flexibility but has increased concerns regarding handling, sealing and sample recovery. Dialysis tubing is typically supplied either wet or dry in rolls or pleated telescope tubes. A wide variety of dialysis devices or dialyzers are available from several vendors. Dialyzers are designed for specific sample volume ranges and provide greater sample security and improved ease of use and performance for dialysis experiments over tubing. The most common preformatted dialyzers are slide A-lyzer, float A-lyzer, and the pure A-lyzer, D-tube, Gebaflex dialyzers product lines. Suppliers. Thermo Scientific Spectrum Laboratories Fisher Scientific EMD Millipore Sigma Aldrich Harvard Apparatus Membrane Filtration Products, Inc. 1. 